Welcome to 464 East Chestnut Avenue in Alderson, West Virginia, here in the Greenbrier Valley. I'm Paul Grist, broker and team lead with Grist Real Estate, and super excited to introduce to you this amazing home. So here at 464, this home was built somewhere around 1879. That's over a century ago, and still standing with so much character. You know, as we go throughout, I'm just excited to show it to you. It's four bedrooms, two full bathrooms. There's somewhere over 3,000 square feet, roughly, all throughout the home. So very spacious, tall ceilings. And we've got a nice one-car garage with two-car garage, or two-car carport, the old root cellar that's next to it, and then very comfortable, spacious backyard with fruit trees, room for a garden, you name it. So you've got everything right here in the heart of downtown Alderson. We're just a block, block and a half from the Alderson Community Center. Alderson Elementary School is just right below that. And they just announced that they're going to be doing a new Alderson Elementary School. So a lot of exciting things going on. And of course, if you like the 4th of July and fireworks and parades, the longest parade, fourth, longest 4th of July parade in West Virginia happens right in this town. So you're close by to it. So let's go on inside and check out this wonderful home. And here we are in the main foyer at 464 East Chestnut Avenue. So as you can see, nice tall ceilings, this wonderful staircase wrapping on up. And from the main foyer here, off to my right, we've got the main level bedroom. And then we have our living area in the front, dining room, and then the kitchen on the back. So first thing, we're gonna go and check out our living room right up here. So very spacious. You can see the hardwood floors all throughout. And we have stained glass on three sides of this room. Stained glass has been here a very long time. It's just part of the character and history of this home. You know, really just these nice little picture windows on each side. And somebody put some thought and care when they designed this home. So one of the neat things that you see in this home are different light fixtures that have a lot of age and character to them. They're there. When this home was originally built, 1879, give or take, they definitely did not have electricity here. So it was added after, and this is probably from the early 1900s, maybe the 1930s, 40s, and then it's been updated over the years. Here is just a really neat feature. Definitely just aesthetic for looks at this point. Uh, but this was a coal burning fireplace at one point. And so you've got this rectangular, nice tall opening on the hearth and this really beautiful tile work that's all the way around it. And of course the mantle as well. So, and one of the neat features of this mantle is the mirror up above it. So you, you don't see the mirrors in a lot of these old mantles, you know, but this one has it and it just fits right in with the character of this home. So from here, let's flow on out and we'll go into the dining room area. So as you can see, spacious dining room. You've got your tall ceilings again here and this picture window right here. So you can see huge window but <laughs> large just does not express how big this window is. And you've got your stained glass up above. And then one of the cool things, you can actually see down about a block and a half to the Alderson Community Center. Down below that is the Alderson Elementary School. And they're looking at doing a renovation of the Alderson Elementary School here soon. That was just announced. And this area is currently used as an office space with a door back to the front porch where we were earlier. It's got all these nice windows on the side here. Just a whole bank of windows. Lots of great light. Currently used as an office, whatever you want it to be. It could be your special place. 
And another one of our really cool light fixtures. Not sure when, but somebody's actually come in and painted designs on these globes that have been replacement globes at some point, so they've got these cool country scenes that are painted on them. Just one of the neat pieces of character that you get here on East Chestnut Avenue. So from here, oh, I'm sorry. Before we go in, really great wainscoting. It's all the way around the bottom. It's just it's a nice part of the character. And wow, check out this kitchen. It's huge. Tall ceilings again. You know, and lots of open counter space all the way around. Here we have a very classic Kenmore oven. That is um, a very singular color of green. And lots of natural light that's come in here. Got your cabinets. And this is classic white. If you want to paint it a different color, just come right in and bring the paint brushes. We've got updated dishwasher and stainless steel refrigerator. That's, those have all been done within the last several years. And so the kitchen, in terms of ease of access and functionality, you've got access right here from the mudroom. And this goes right to the outside. So right now the mudroom, you've got plenty of room where you can bring your own freezer chest, come in the back, you know, keeps all the warm or cold air from going to the main part of the house whenever you come in from your day of being out. So right off the back stoop here, we've got the old cellar, the garage, and then the carport. So it's a great way to bring your groceries in, bring everything right to the back of the home. Just immediate access there. Very convenient. So for those who come for the in-person tour, this is the access to the cellar. It's got a concrete floor in it and also has our furnace located down there. So as we move on, this will help show you how good of a flow this home has. You know, the whole downstairs that can have a circular flow. So from here, before we go into the laundry room, I do want to show you this really cool pantry. So it's like, ta-da, and then it goes over this way, and then comes back. So I just love it. It's just really cool. And who knows, maybe this is where Harry Potter hangs out. But for the meantime, it's where your food is. So as we head this way, washer and dryer, they are part of the sale here. We've got the updated tile that the owners have put in recently. It's very nicely done with this black. And then we've got our cast iron tub. That is a beauty right there full bathroom here and with your great double windows going out to the back. And of course, this bathroom is connected to what would be the master suite, the master bedroom on the main level. So another huge feature with this home is that you have not only a bedroom, but a main bedroom on the main level. Lots and lots of storage space. There's actually a large closet located directly behind you. As you can see here, and then on this side, we have more storage place, closet space, and then overhead storage located there as well. So as you can see again, tall ceilings downstairs, we're looking at like nine foot ceilings. And then on this, just large oversized windows. So with this home, you get a lot of those Victorian farmhouse kind of characteristics uh, that are what the charm of the area is. And really from when Alderson was getting its start. So, ta-da, here we are right back, main entrance where we started, and this awesome staircase, which we're gonna head upstairs now and show you more. Okay. Upper landing, and you can see how spacious this is, right? And we've got tall ceilings again upstairs. So one of the really cool features of the homes 
that are in this Victorian style in this area from late 1800s, early 1900s. You just get these nice large size rooms and tall ceilings. And it just it makes for a very comfortable living environment. And one of the cool things that you just notice right away when you come in the front door and then as you come upstairs is this staircase. And the railings and the banisters, you just think about the craftsmanship uh, that was used to make this in the late 1800s. So this is actually the top part of this is was actually glued together somehow. It was put together and then it was formed into this upper piece. And you know, the idea behind that is that when they took multiple pieces and put them together, they switched the grains on it and that allowed it to remain in the same shape for more than a century. So if they just taken one piece of wood and carved it down over the years, it would have split, it would have warped, but this was done right. This was great craftsmanship. We talked about 130 years ago, 140 years ago. So just one of those little glimpses at a time, you can see you've got the arch as it goes on down. Uh, clearly this is just one of my favorite things up here. And then you have these nice tart belt, tight banister railings as they go all the way across, which was a very nice feature for that. So let's go check out the three bedrooms upstairs. Let's see again, nice light here. So this is one of the few areas that has carpet in it. And you've got your hardwood floors underneath. We don't know what condition they're in, but they are under there in some form. And of course, this is another corner room, tall ceilings, got large closet space over in this direction. So behind the curtains there, we've got the blackout curtains for getting good sleep at night. And of course, over all these doorways, up here above me, we have the transoms. And it is just really fascinating to see all these nice transoms. You know, that was definitely something that was an upgraded item. It was a thing of quality when this home was built back in the 1800s. And it's still here today. So as we head here, we went from our guest bedroom number two, we're going into what's used as the main bedroom upstairs and you can see why as we go in it's just the natural light in here is incredible this is on the front side of the house and you've got this huge back of windows and if you remember from the living room downstairs with the stained glass we have a very similar pattern of stained glass that's up here no idea what the age is on that but just kind of warms your heart. It's been here a long time. We have more closet space uh, that's off to the side here. Uh, very livable home. Again, another transom above us. I think transoms are really cool. And then bedroom number three upstairs. We've got our closet space there. More windows all the way around. So just the design on this home, the way the bedrooms are, they're all in the corners, they've got multiple windows in them, lots of sunlight can come in during the days, very spacious. And then we've been walking on these floors the whole tour, we haven't really talked about them, but as you can see, they've been redone, they've been stained, they've had a coat put on them, protective coat. And that's through most of the home that that's been done. So, really cool feature with that. So, upstairs, we do have a full bathroom and then some other storage space. So, let's go check that out. So, here we are, what I would call the northern wing of the home with the bedroom and storage area, or bathroom and storage areas. So, come on in, check this bathroom out. So one, they are of my heart because they have red on their shower curtains and crabs, those are really good. But you've got your nice rain shower head here. You've got your uh, 
nickel plated looking hardware. And then this cast iron stove, or cast iron tub. I'll get my words right here. Really cool though. And it's like, this thing is not going anywhere. It is solid. So you've got your full bathroom. It's upstairs and conveniently located right across from the three main bedrooms upstairs. So this area, just one of these rooms with potential. You could come in and finish out this space, maybe turn it into an office space. You could even build in a bunk bed, make it into another bedroom. You know, it, sky's the limit. But this is one of those areas that the imagination starts going and you get some really cool features in here just that takes you back to other areas when this house was first built and then changed over time. You've got different wallpaper here and you know, this upper layer was added at some point you know, maybe mid-century. This wallpaper that's underneath, this is likely early 1900s. So you know, it's just, it's fascinating to think what was going on at this home, late 1800s, early 1900s, when they put in this wallpaper and projects they were doing. And then it's cool to think what you're gonna do with this home when you make it yours. So we have another storage space here. This was originally an exterior porch. It was enclosed probably in the early 1900s. You've got this great wall of windows. This is, these are the same kind of windows that you get downstairs right off of the dining room uh, where the office is currently located. So these windows, they still have the ropes and the weights inside so that they're the weighted pulley windows. So when the window goes up, the weight goes down. And you know, that's probably early 19-teens, 1920s, roughly in that time period. So exterior sided here. So this was definitely exterior at one point and then enclosed. Currently more storage space. And who knows, maybe you make this into a sleeping room. You bring up a hammock and string it up and open up the windows at night and just enjoy the night breeze. So from here, we'll just go back and show you how close we are and how this connects to the rest of the home. So just down a few stairs and up, and we're right back into the main foyer upstairs. So that concludes everything interior. Let's go back, check out some of the outbuildings and then the backyard, which you're just gonna love. On this home, one of the great benefits of being here are all the outdoor features that it provides. So you've got this large oversized paved driveway. It's right in the back to your large two-car carport. Lots of great space for your cars, having workshop projects under there. You've got the older one-car garage right next to it that now is used for storage as a shed. And workshop area inside there. And then on the other side of that is the root cellar, which is two stories. It's got storage upstairs, and then down underneath is where the old spring ran into it years ago. So as you can see behind me, this home, beautiful two-story. It's got the exterior aluminum siding, so very durable, a lot of life on that. You've got your nice metal roof up above. And then you can see up in the peak, you've got some of the original woodwork, we believe from 1879 when this was built. So that's just through the centuries, literally, 18, 19, and 20, you've got all this character that's come through to today, and it can be your home. So let's head to the back. Oh, and before we do though, I just wanna point out, uh, we've got this beautiful dogwood tree that's right up here in the front, so it'll flower every year. We've got a lot of different plantings around, you know, from your nice maple trees in the front, that have got the age and character to them, and to these new plantings that the sellers have just put in, these are American hazelnuts, so they'll grow up and over time they'll be a really nice head for you. So let's go on back to the backyard. So here we are in the backyard, and if you thought the home and the front had lots to offer, great lifestyle, this really just tops the cake here. Now you've got 
this beautiful grove of fruit trees. We've got apple trees. We've got a cherry tree over my left shoulder. You've got your garden area over to the side. So all through the summer, you can plant those vegetables and get those just fresh off the ground, right off the crop. Carrots, tomatoes, you just name it. And you can have it right here, go right into your home and cook it up. And so it, this is a nice level area. You've got plenty of space. I can imagine just being here on one of these summer days, maybe in, a, in the evening, sitting out here, enjoying the breeze as it comes through town. And of course, like this little teepee back here, it just brings to my imagination Tiger Lily and Peter Pan running around in this very special little spot back here. So you know, if you're looking for a home that's really a home, that provides you all the character, you know, that just lifestyle of being in a historic feeling home, but with all the outdoor activities that you would want, you know, from having your own garden to plenty of backyard space, your own fruit trees, within walking distance of the town, the library, places to eat, you know, the historic Alderson Bridge, this is a great place to consider. So remember 464 East Chestnut Avenue in Alderson. You want to take a tour of us? Give us a call, shoot us a message. We'd be glad to help you out. And thank you to everybody for watching. We appreciate all the likes, hearts, and shares. That helps us get it out to the world out there and find the next person that's going to make this their home. So thank you again. I'm Paul with Grist Real Estate. We'll see you soon.